Hey guys, I'm Fat Buddy Cat, and this is Microbiology. All right, Fat Buddy Cat doesn't hide anything from you, and we might as well not start here. Uh, normally, we follow these directions, okay? And this will get you to where you need to be with a Predator 212. Now, there's a slight variation with the 79. Okay, and what's happening is we need to move a little bit further to the left, okay, so that we can align our sprocket. In order to do that, I'm going to spin the plate around. I know, guys, breaking all the rules. All right, I got that done with the quickness. Now we can move this thing as far over as we need it to. Yep, it's going to be right around there. Alright guys, the exhaust system that we're going to be using today comes directly from my friends Grey Goat Garage and OMBWarehouse.com Alright, and all this little pop pistol is is a Mini 91 with a threaded section on basically what I think they call a wiener pipe. And then it has a custom flange for maybe a different application. Let's take a look. Here's what I'm talking about. If we were running a clutch, this would be perfect. It's not touching our pulley. We can wrap this, keep some of that heat away from the belt. And it might just barely catch the edge of our cover. Hmm. Instead of cutting that pipe, I think I'm going to modify my cover. I'm going to show you why. At first, I said, hey, why not just make a side exit header? I'll cut it at the flange spin it counterclockwise right a few degrees and then re-weld it well that sounds good but check this out we're nowhere close to making butt bacon now i'm not overly concerned about threading this in or out okay and if I thread it all the way in then eh, you know it brings that mini 91 that much closer and we're really trying to throw the heat and stuff as far as possible so I'm gonna leave my threads halfway in but we're gonna fill in that gap all right, I'm fighting weather as usual, guys, but here's a crude spacer. Just cut off some one-inch tube. This spacer is going to take up the majority of the room that we have left at the end. I'm going to weld that sucker on there. It'll really make it strong. I just grabbed my step bit, and I honed it out a little bit. That way it slips over the threads easier. Weld it, clean it, and tape it. Because you know we're going to let that high heat grill paint do the talking. All right, let's go and wrap this thing. Wham, bam, bla, jam. We got that Monza. All right, and I just went ahead and modified a clone gasket. It's not torn here or here that's just this uh outer layer either way guys it's better than what i was gonna work with so the stock one is basically burnt out it looks like i don't know a dried up pringles if that's a thing so 
yeah we're gonna squish it in there and when I get this thing running we'll see what happens all right and that is on there good and tight the exhaust is anyway the motor's still loose and we still have to make alignment but we have that all day long and here we are back up on the bucket that doesn't look too bad I had a gold arcade chain on this before when it had a Predator 212 I'm gonna see if it fits now yep that fits well that's one more thing off the list but as you can see our cover is going to need some modification but that's okay because so does the rest of the torque converter but tomorrow i think we're going to get that carb on there because as always, it's a work in progress. Have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.